What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. Today's tip video, I'll be reviewing the Quillbot tool and basically talking about why you should be using it when creating content for your website. So to get started, Quillbot is a paraphrasing tool that utilizes machine learning and AI to rewrite content. You can either use this for creating new content for your website, if you're doing papers for school, or even just looking to summarize articles and copy. Quillbot's an awesome paraphrasing tool that you should be using. So to dive into it, here's an example of what the paraphrase may look like. So all you have to do is just copy and paste a few paragraphs in the left-hand column here. And then you can select your modes. So standard mode is your typical mode that you'd want to use to just maintain that nice balance between changing input while retaining the original meaning of your original copy. Fluency is more geared to making sure that you don't have as many uh, grammatical mistakes and is improving the fluency of your copy. Creative and Creative Plus will paraphrase the text to be the most unique but this also has the strongest chance of detracting from the original meaning of your paragraph. Formal will change the content to appear more professional. And then we short and expand pretty inherent in the meaning where you're looking to convey the most conciseness or clarity, whereas with expand, you're looking to add more sentence length to your paraphrase content. Outside of the modes, you can choose uh, the selection for the word flipper. So if you want fewer words to be flipped while maintaining your accuracy, you would slide the flipper to the left. Whereas if you want more words to be flipped at the cost of potentially losing accuracy, then you would just go to the right. And so you can already see how I paraphrased the original content from left to right. And when you're looking at it, black text means it hasn't been changed. Orange means that the content was changed. And then blue highlights the longest length of text that went unchanged when Willbot rephrased. So outside of rephrasing, there are a couple other settings that you can play around with in Quillbot. The two biggest ones are to freeze words. So if there are certain words that you don't want changed, then you can include those within Quillbot. So for me, I included SEO, Yoast, Technical, HTA Access, Sitemaps. And then the other one is to look at compare mode. So if you're not sure which mode would serve the best, for your rephrasing needs, then this comparison will show you what that might look like between the different sentences that would be generated using the different modes. And you can also adjust based on the word flipper to see how much it might change or not change, which is very helpful. And another cool thing with Quillbot is you can go into the summarizer tab and you can either drag a document straight into Quillbot or just paste text from your clipboard. And it will summarize or paraphrase the content that you inserted to be a brief summary, whether you want it to be long or short. So you can summarize this way. And I'll just give you a quick summary that you can just pop out from a longer document or article that you found online, which is super helpful. So beyond the paraphraser and summarizer tool, Billbot does offer several extensions, whether you're using Google Chrome or Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So instead of going into the Quillbot dashboard, you can just include a add-on via one of these three tools. And you can just do that work right within your doc. 
And for Quillbot, they do offer a free and paid version. The free version limits some of these modes, so you don't have full access here. And you only have a certain character limit that you can set before you're not able to rephrase the entire copy. Whereas with the paid mode, you get access to the extensions and the summarizer tool, as well as access to all the modes. And instead of the character limit being here, you can now upload content of up to 10,000 characters instead of being limited in the free version. So I've been using this tool for a couple of months now, and I found it to be extremely helpful when creating content for my website. The only caveat is that you just kind of have to watch what's being rephrased. Oftentimes you're not able to just copy and paste what's being rephrased into your content and have it make sense. You have to go in and kind of play more of an editorial role just to make sure that everything does make sense and the language is correct and that the original meaning of the content that you included to be rephrased is retained. But it has saved me a lot of time being able to use this tool where I'm able to play more of an editorial role when crafting content compared to writing all my content from scratch. I'm currently able to write about an article a day now in the span of about an hour for an article that's about 1,500 to 2,000 words compared to before where it may take me three to four hours to write a similar article by hand. So definitely a big time saver. But hopefully you found this tool review to be helpful. If you have, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next digital marketing tip video.